This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Paw Patrol, The Mighty Movie, in theaters September 29th. Hey, Olivia, we're gonna draw one of your favorite pups from Paw Patrols, who is it? Sky. Sky, and in The Mighty Movie, she gets special powers, superpowers, mighty powers. And what are those powers? She's super strong yeah. and she can fly. Yeah, do you wish you could fly? Yes. I wish I could fly too. Sky is one of your favorite pups, but who else is your favorite? Rubble. Rubble, and how come? Because he's really funny. Yeah. He is really funny. He also seems like he's really hungry most of the time. Yeah. What did he say in the movie? He said, three, two, one, launch. And he said, lunch? <laughs> and then he said, no, launch. <laughs> and I was like, aw. <laughs> Parents, Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie is in theaters September 29th. You can get your tickets now. We hope you're gonna follow along with us and draw Sky. What do they need for this lesson? A marker. Yeah, or something to draw with. You also need some? Paper. Paper, and what else? Something to color with. Yeah, something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw Sky's nose, and we're gonna draw it right here in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And we're also drawing Sky flying. So we also wanna make sure that we have room for her whole body. So let's first draw a circle or an oval right about here. I'm gonna draw it about this big, too. Yeah, good job. And then we can also color that shape in. Anytime we speed up the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw her eyes. We're gonna draw a circle over here on the left. I'm gonna draw it about this big, and I'm also gonna draw a circle over here on the right, the same size. We want it to match. Oh, I love your eyes. Okay, and then we're gonna color in those shapes too. Next, we're gonna draw the outside of her eyes. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw an upside down U shape. We're gonna come out, over, and down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna to try to draw the same upside down U on the other side too. Oh, that's really good. And on this side, you can also bring it down just a little bit further so it matches on both sides. And if we want to, you can leave this part off, but I'm gonna make it a little thicker just at the top. I'm gonna to do the same thing over here. We'll just make it a little thicker. This part's kind of tricky, so you could also leave this off. I'm gonna do it. Okay, good. Oh, you did it. Nice job. And then you can color that in. Then we also want to give her eyelashes. We're going to draw two curves over here on the left and also the same on the right side. Okay, now we're ready to draw her mouth and we're going to draw her smiling underneath her nose. Oh, she's really happy. Then we can also give her cheek lines on each side of her mouth. Okay, now we need to draw her head. And we're gonna draw a big circle shape. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes underneath her mouth, and we're gonna come up over next to her eye on the same spot over here. Now we're gonna draw the top of her head, and we're gonna draw it coming up higher like this. And we're gonna go over to the other side and then connect to the other side of her head. I love the shape of her head. <laughs> and I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's okay, right? They're both turning out awesome. Yes. The most important thing is? To have fun and practice. Yes, remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. We got the shape of her head, but we need to give her goggles and also her helmet. So let's start here and we'll draw the bottom of her goggles. We're gonna go underneath her eye above her nose, then we're gonna go underneath the other eye and then connect to the other side. Oh, she looks really cute. Okay, now we're gonna draw the top of her goggles and we're gonna do the same thing but going the other way. We're gonna go over her eye, then we're gonna come down where her nose is and then up over her other eye and connect to the other side. Let's draw the fur coming out of her helmet next. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this, and then we're gonna curve back in. So you start right, yeah, that's a good spot. And then we're gonna draw more of those bumps. I'm gonna draw a couple more like this, but watch, when I come down here, I'm going down further. I can't really do oh, that. Oh yeah, you, that's okay, you're running out of room. You could just connect back to where we started. Oh, a tiny one, that works and too. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can connect back in to her helmet up here at the top. Let's add a couple more details to her helmet. Let's draw a shape that's gonna come down like this. We're gonna draw a V that comes down 
And then we're gonna come back up over here on the other side. So I'm gonna draw past the helmet too. So you could start right there, you can come down and then come back up to there. Yes, then we're gonna make this V thicker. So we're gonna draw another line right next to it on both sides. And then let's connect those two lines on each side together. Okay, now we're gonna draw that same shape, but a little smaller, and we're gonna draw it coming out of the goggle over here. So I'm gonna draw two sticking out. Yes, there you go. And you can go a little past the helmet too. And then we're gonna connect those at the top. Then let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna draw two lines coming out and then connect them at the top too. Yes, that looks awesome. Okay, now what is she missing coming out of the side of her head? Her ears. Yeah, her ears. And she has really fluffy ears. So we're gonna start here above her goggles and we're gonna come down like this. I'm gonna draw a zigzag coming down really far past her head. And then you can stop there. That's a good place to stop. And then we're gonna do that same thing over here. Draw a zigzag coming down and we're gonna curve out. And then right at the end, I'm kind of curving in also. You did a great job on drawing zigzag lines for her ears. That makes her ears look fluffy. And then we're gonna draw a zigzag line coming back up and connecting to her cheek. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Good job. And then the same thing over here, you could connect over to there. Oh, also, let's add one more detail to her helmet. We're gonna draw a curve on her cheek. So we can start here and then curve down to there. And the same thing, yep, on the other side. We did it, we finished drawing Skye's head and also her mighty helmet with her goggles and her cute ears. Now let's draw her body. And we're gonna draw her flying with her super mighty powers. I'm gonna draw two lines coming out to the side. From her chin, before we draw the rest of her body, let's draw her Mighty Pups badge right in the middle of her chest. So we're gonna draw a curve right in the middle, and then we're gonna draw almost a U shape, but there's kind of a point at the bottom. Yes, oh, and I like how small you're drawing it. Then we're gonna add a little crystal, her Mighty Crystal, inside of her badge. <laughs> I love how small that is. Next, let's draw the rest of her body. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna come down like this, and we're gonna come down on the other side and we're gonna get kind of close to touching down here at the bottom. So we can draw, we can come down to there and then on the other side, we'll come down to there. Yeah. And then let's connect them at the bottom. This is her mighty suit. And then we're gonna also, let's draw a line right here and connect to the outside on each side. Okay, now we can draw her paws. Let's draw her front paws first. We're gonna draw a circle right here for one paw. And then we're gonna draw the same size circle, you got it, on the other side. Now let's draw two paw lines, or two toe lines, yep, and then two toe lines over here. Okay, now let's draw her shoulders. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out here. And we're gonna get really close to the circle, but we don't wanna connect. And then we're gonna connect into her body. And then we can connect her paw. This is for her leg or arm into their shoulder. Let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll try to match it so that they look the same. Curve out and then back in to her body. Yes, and then we're gonna draw two lines for her front legs. Now we're ready to draw her back legs and she's flying, so we're gonna draw these bent. We're first drawing the letter U coming out and then back in. So you could start there and you're gonna curve up to there. And then let's do the same thing on the other side to match. You got it. Okay, and then let's also draw one line here for her suit and one line on the other side. Yep, and then there, yes. Okay, and then let's draw her paws, her back paws. We're gonna draw a curve that comes around like this and then connect into her leg. And then the same thing on the other side. And then what's her feet missing? Her little toes. Yeah, her little toes. Let's do the same thing we did for her front paws on her back paws, two little curves. Oh, and let's add 
two more lines on her paws for her little mighty boots. <laughs> and let's do the same thing on the other side. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing Sky, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, we still need to color her. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our sand coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring Sky, and she turned out so cute, all colored in. Yeah, that was really fun. I thought so too. And I hope our art friends will pause the video and take time to color their drawings also. Now we used our crayons to color with, but you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You could use colored pencils or even paint. Oh, paint would be really fun. We also used our pink crayon to go around the outside of Sky. And now what does she look like she has? Superpowers. Yeah, <laughs> she looks like she has really powerful superpowers. Another thing I really liked about Sky in Paw Patrol's The Mighty Movie is that she was kind of small, but she was still super powerful. Yeah, she was really strong and it didn't matter what size she was. We hope you have fun drawing Sky with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And parents also remember that Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie is in theaters September 29th. You can get tickets now. We also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this art lesson, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.